Far, far out is the nickname of the most distant object in the solar system that astronomers can presently see with their telescopes. It's officially called 2018 AG 37, 2018 being the year it was discovered. And it moves so slowly across the sky that the researchers who found it realized early on that it was very remote. They've now learned more about it, including its size, estimated to be about 400 kilometers or 250 miles across, and its orbit. So, just how far away is far, far out? Let's start closer to home with some more familiar objects. Earth orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles. This average distance of Earth from the Sun is known as the Astronomical Unit, or AU. The outermost planet, Neptune, orbits at an average distance of 4.5 billion kilometers, or about 30 astronomical units. Pluto, which is now classified as a dwarf planet, moves in a much more elongated orbit that takes it as far away as 39 AU, 39 times the distance of Earth, from the Sun. Any object that isn't a planet or a comet that orbits the Sun beyond the orbit of Neptune is called a trans-Neptunian object. The first trans-Neptunian object to be discovered was Pluto, but now we know of thousands of others, most of which are much further away from the Sun than Pluto is. Most trans-Neptunian objects fall into one of several groups. The nearest of these big groupings to the Sun is the Kuiper Belt, which is a disk of rocky objects that extends beyond the orbit of Neptune to a distance of about 50 astronomical units. It's similar to the well-known asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, but about 20 times as wide and between 20 and 200 times as massive. Around 2,000 Kuiper Belt objects have been catalogued, including three, Pluto, Haumea, and Make Make, which have been classified as dwarf planets. Overlapping with the Kuiper Belt is another disk of objects known as the Scattered Disk. Members of the Scattered Disk tend to have very elongated orbits, which may bring them as close as 30 to 35 astronomical units to the Sun at perihelion, but as far away as 100 astronomical units, or more, at aphelion. The largest known member of these scattered disks, and the second largest known dwarf planet after Pluto, with a diameter of more than 2,300 kilometers, is Eris. Eris takes 559 years to go around the Sun, during which time its distance from the Sun varies between 38 and 97 astronomical units. Far, far out has an even more stretched out orbit than that of Eris, bringing it as close to the Sun as 27 AU at one extreme, closer than Neptune, and as far away as 175 AU, more than four times further away than Pluto, at the other. Currently, it lies about 132 astronomical units from the Sun. Discovering objects as small as far, far out at such incredible distances calls for very large telescopes equipped with highly sensitive digital cameras. Astronomers first spotted it using the 8-meter Subaru telescope on Mauna Kea in Hawaii and worked out its orbit from further observations using the Gemini North and Magellan telescopes. Far, far out currently holds the record for the most distant object ever seen in the solar system. But there are other things going around the Sun that lie very much further away. The most distant of all are thought to lie in a vast cloud of bodies made of rock and ice known as the Oort Cloud. The inner part of the Oort Cloud is probably donut shaped, stretching from 2,000 to 20,000 astronomical units from the Sun. The outer Oort Cloud is believed to be spherical and to reach out as far as 50,000 astronomical units or three quarters of a light year from the Sun. It may be home to trillions of objects that are larger than a kilometer across. 
Although no one has ever seen the Oort cloud, it's thought to be the source of long-period comets that occasionally travel to the inner parts of the solar system before heading back into the depths of space.